Hi welcome, today I am going to explain about the film A Perfect Pairing. Spoilers ahead watch out fully. A Perfect Pairing introduces us to Lola Alvarez, Justice, a fiery and ambitious CEO for Mythas Wines. She sets her sights on Vaughan Family Wines in Australia. After securing a distribution contract with celebrity restaurateur Hamish King, Nicholas Brown. She discloses her next assignment with Audra, Lucy Durek, a co-worker and friend, which comes back to harm her. Audra pitches Vaughan family wines at a meeting the next day, and her boss, Calder, Craig Horner, promises her a promotion. Lola accuses him of being the worst leader ever and resigns. She establishes her own wine distribution company, Salad Imports, and travels to Australia to strike a deal with the legendary Hazel Vaughan, Samantha Tolge. Lola hires an Airbnb cottage on the Vaughan Sheep Station to be near to Hazel after her representatives inform everyone that she is on vacation and will be unavailable for a month. She packs her belongings, goes to Australia, and travels to the lush green property in Warata. There, she meets the station's leader, cocky, ranch boss, Max, Demos. He discovers her mindlessly wandering inside the main home and guides her to the cottage. Lola spots Hazel on their way to the Airbnb and immediately introduces herself and her intentions. Hazel is impressed with her study, but she emphasizes that Vaughan Family Wines is a highly important firm, and she would never give her account to a novice whose distribution venture has yet to be established. Max takes advantage of the opportunity to inform Hazel that their new recruit at the station has bailed, leaving them one person short for sheep shearing season. Lola seizes the opportunity and volunteers for the position. She wants to prove to Hazel Vaughan that she has tenacity and dedication like no other. Hazel leaves the decision to Max, who reluctantly agrees. Lola pledges to persuade her new boss to reconsider the account and begins learning about her obligations under Max. Her term has been extended from two days to two weeks, and she is now required to live in the Shearer's quarters with the other workers. Lola gets right to work, but she struggles with tasks like fence repair, sheep feeding, and cleaning, among others. She does, however, get up close and personal with an ancient sheep named Barbara. She also develops friends with the other employees, who are initially hostile to her because she is the station's newest Jillaroo, but soon warm up to her. However, after messing up a chore in front of Hazel and Max a few days later, she chooses to quit and return to LA. Lola joins Max on his way into town, but his vehicle breaks down, forcing them to walk back to the station. On the way, the boss, who is cocky, encourages her to stay and risk losing Hazel. That night, while reflecting, Lola comes upon a book about Sibylla Vaughan, the woman responsible for putting the Warata property into its current state, is inspired and decides to stay. Max recognizes her ambition to obtain the account, and the two become acquainted. Lola tells him everything about her life, from being a divorced lady to being reared by a single parent, while Max keeps his background a secret. Lola notices Max walking into the main home and getting into the pool one night. She pursues him and casually accuses him of trespassing. He reveals that Hazel is out from town and that she never uses the pool. That's when Audra suggests that Max disclosing his identity to her was his method of finally figuring out who he is. Lola thinks about it but doesn't dwell on it. 
The following day, Salad Imports sets up a stall at a wine tasting event to display the bottles of its few clients. Hamish stops along to say hello and casually mentions how Lola blew the Vaughan opportunity. This is when Max appears on the scene and claims that he, not Lola, blew it. He reveals that he is now fully involved in the business of the company and would want Salad to be their new distributor, a request that Audra promptly accepts. Max also apologizes to Lola and shows them the new bottle design with the Sibylla emblem on it. He admits that he should never have let her go and promises to bring her back to Australia, claiming that Barbara needs her. As Hazel returns and smiles after watching the scene, the two jump in and go for a swim. They kiss and return to Arata to attend the wedding of one of the station's employees. A perfect pairing ends well as everyone enjoys the festivity. You can download this movie by the link in the description. Thanks for watching this awesome recap. Subscribe for regular movie updates.